activity at Makere University, which has over 40,000 students, has in the recent past been disrupted by strikes largely due to failure to pay salaries and allowances for both academic staff and non-academic staff. If you are going to raise money through private students, you must be stable for the public to come to you. If you have more strikes and you want private students and other universities are stable, you can be sure you will not raise money through that. The students also now contribute towards the salaries of the staff. So currently, the, 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 the students contribute up to 20%. Incentive is not paid from government money. Government subvention, among other things, helps to pay salaries. So management could not divert government money for paying salary to pay incentives. The university blames this on inadequate finances. Dr. Tango Doi, who is now the chairman of the ruling NRM party's electoral commission, and economics don Professor Gassas Nwagaba believe that the problems of Makerere University have persisted because government has for long ignored the outcry of the staff. Not only teaching other curriculum, it also teaches strikes. Something which is unfortunate. And I cannot blame it on the current Mwasa executive. Because even during my tenure, we had strikes. 70% of, of, of the wage bill is, the, is the, of the entire income, actually, of the entire income is the wage bill. And the government is not meeting the total wage bill. Once Mwasa called management for an assembly, the VC wrote a letter saying management will not go there. When the deputy vice chancellor went there without knowing the VC had written, the members said what you are saying is not true because the vice chancellor has written to us a letter saying management will not come. So that mix up brought anger which made the members declare strike. Dr. Doy, a former chairman of Makere University Academic Staff Association, Mwasa, blames his colleagues for keeping a deaf ear on the proposals of the university management. He adds that the current strike could have been avoided. The members of staff did not exhaust all the channels of negotiation. As convocation, we are just coming to pressurize management to pay in one month. Because the bottom line is, management presented to council yesterday that they only have 5 billion shillings. As Mwasa chairman, Dr. Doi led a number of strikes over poor pay and working conditions for the academic staff. I was a leader of Mwasa who could lead Mwasa and not allow to be led. Dr. Doi and Professor Nwagaba who he succeeded as Mwasa chairman, believe that Makerere University can no longer run effective loan tuition fees from the private students. They say the university has to design means of generating income to sustain itself. Professor Duba is limping. I agree that the, the management uh, uh, can be problematic. It, 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 it needs a lot to be desired. Government must own up Makerere 100%. Government must take up the payroll. And when they want to take up the payroll, they must clean up Makerere first. The institution owns prime land in Kampala and other parts of the country, but these properties have largely been idle. Makerere has land which is being grabbed in Makindi, being grabbed in Katanga. Even when the ministry says it's government land, Makerere must be helped to explore possibilities of leasing out that land. Professor Nwagaba, who is a poverty alleviation expert, argues that these assets can be utilized through public-private partnerships to raise funds around the university. And I was thinking that uh, there are ways in which uh, Makerere can look into joint ventures with uh, other, other, other uh, people that have money that can invest in these areas. Professor Nwagaba also says the government scholarship scheme must change to cater for the only needed students because the current system instead benefits the rich. Look, uh, the people who are scoring highly, again, are the people who are well to do. Because these are the people who have come up through very good schools. Citing Harvard University in the United States of America, Professor Nwagaba believes Makerere can adopt a similar model for self-sustenance instead of depending on government subventions. Jingo Francis, NTV.